I ordered a new one and it's I think they said five to seven uh, days so it should be here like um, I didn't check the mail yet this morning so it's probably there honestly. Okay. Y'all, I just walked out the bank and I feel so bad because the money counter in the bank was broke. So she had to hand count all my ones, which usually I don't have a lot of ones. But this weekend I forgot to trade out like a few, y'all seen a few of them. So she had to hand count that and I feel so bad. I was in there for a minute. She had to hand count all that and then they have to double count it. And I just felt bad. She never has to do that. Like here lately, like the last two or three times I come to the bank, the money counter here, it like jams up. And usually she can like refresh it and get it to work. But this time she could not get it to work. So she had to count all that. And they fuck with me in here. Like they so sweet to me, but I just feel bad <laughs> that she had to count all that. I know it's annoying because I had to count the shit at home. Um, I think I'm going to go get my nails done now um, to get that out the way. I cannot decide if I want to do long nails or if I want to do medium or if I want to do my real nail. I've been getting this short French tip and they're cute but I'm kind of wanting like a little switch up but every time I get long nails I end up regretting it and it's so fucking annoying. I don't know what should I do y'all? Should I switch it up because I'm, I'm feeling like I want to switch it up. I don't know why I'm just that's just what the that's just what I'm feeling. today's vibe you already know it's a week in the life but today's vibe we're off work today today's wednesday it is 9 38 a.m it is march 1st new month new intentions new goals 
monthly reset um that's the vibe so first i'm gonna clean up the only thing i really like have to do today is install this new wig and check the mail i have a new wig to install and i need to check the mail because i'm expecting something super important but other than that we just gonna have like a chill reset type of day we're gonna vibe we're gonna clean up we're gonna do some cooking it's wednesday i'm off today and tomorrow and then we'll be going to work this weekend so let's have a relaxing first of the month to me people tend to be stressed out around the first of the month because as you all know no matter who you are no matter how much money you make we all have to pay bills so usually people tend to be stressed around this time because even the days leading up to it they feel like they've worked so hard and we're having to pay all these bills and i'm trying to change our mindset and think of it as like a refreshing time it's like a time to reset time to refresh you tackled last month you conquered it maybe there's some things you want to get done this month but I'm trying to transform my thought process around like the beginning of the month. Um, even in the club, when girls aren't making money, you'll hear them say, well, it's rant week. Everyone just pay. You know, it's just like a negative type of feeling around the beginning of the month. And I don't know why, because honestly, it's refreshing. It's a reset, a new 30 days, a new time frame for you to get things done that you didn't get done last month. You can set some new goals, whatever you want to do. But I'm trying to retrain my brain around the beginning of the month you know what i mean it's a time to relax you tackled last month now it's time to prepare to tackle this month but it starts with your environment i know y'all see me clean and cook a lot on here but i'm human my house gets dirty as hell like my sink is full of dishes right now there's dirty clothes on my bathroom floor there's a pile of dirt that i swept up and didn't actually throw in the trash like i i'm normal i don't have kids or nothing but my house still gets dirt, dirty so um to me, a good reset starts with a clean environment. That's a part of self-care, taking care of your things. It's a sense of gratitude. So, yeah, let's be thankful and relax. No need to panic. Relax. We got this, okay? Before we get into cleaning up today, I do like to set the mood with a nice candle to get the vibes going. As you guys know, this is from Dossier. For those of you that don't know, they are a luxury fragrance and candle company. They offer a wide variety of fragrances um, for men, women, even unisex. And then they also just recently launched this candle line. This scent right here is Flora Marshmallow. And I thought the last one they sent was my favorite, but honestly, this one is probably my favorite. I have this perfume fragrance and now the candle. And this is probably one of my favorite scents. You guys ask me in the comments all the time. Floral Marshmallow is probably for sure my favorite, if not for sure, top three. If you guys are looking to save a little coin, make sure you check out the discount in the description box below. Thank you again, Dossier, for sponsoring today's video. I don't know if you're talking about you. I'm a chain going on my side, little 
off, got Diego. Say Ash to Luego. Movie in rapping Kilo. Snub nose with potato. Cold gang with the cocaine. The more money, make more rain. Going up a fan while I'm back in propane. Point blank range, give a nigga nose range. Skip to my lube with the pack and the cat. Jiffin' lube with the bricks, where they at? Drippin' booze, the paddock all wet. Birds in the truck, they ain't leaving at the nest. Get five bass set like milk. Yo, running with the pack, got slip. Hands in the cookie jar, cut his finger off. Nigga being greedy, we gon' cut his tummy out. Hundred bricks on the road, took a couple routes. Flush mama house, her man's a Philly couch. Uh, I ain't really with the rounds of dollars. Knock him out, but then I throw him off the boat paddle. Go to the one up, put the kilo on the saddle. Sack him, hit a lick of copper pterodactyl. Pap him, chop a bite down like an apple. Match him with the acres, with the horses and the cattle. Like narco, narco, got dope like Pablo. Pablo, cut dope like Pablo. Cut dope, chop trees with the Draco. Draco, on the knock got Diego. Say hasta still luego. We'll be in rapping kilo. Snub nose. so excited do y'all like my little pineapple ponytail i just filmed this last night for this hair company let me know how you're feeling about it i slept on it and woke up and touched it up is it giving like realistic i try to pull some hair out back here i think with the makeup it's gonna eat but anyways y'all i was trying to get filler i've been trying to get filler and the thing is i'm feeling like, I'm not going to say manic because I don't want y'all to think of it just crazy for real. But I'm feeling like I just want to do something like right on the drop of a dime. So I've been calling places for the last few days like, hey, do y'all have appointments today for filler? Like, just want to go in that same day. I don't want to plan it for next week or the week after. Like, I just want to go in that day. And I've been getting notes. And someone just called me back and was like, since you're just getting one syringe, um, I talked to one of the estheticians and she said that, she has a gap in her day in between. Basically, she's going to try and squeeze me in. And they're having a special. It's $100 off. So, so literally, I'm about to, like, brush my teeth and moisturize my face and stuff. And I'm probably, honestly, going to wear this. It's 12.27 right now. And she said I have to be there by 1.00. And I have to do my paperwork and stuff and start the stuff at once. So I'm about to just honestly brush my teeth and then go there. So anyway, let's go get our lips done, bitch. I do shit like this sometimes. Sometimes I just up and decide I want to do something. Sometimes it's a face tat. Sometimes it's filler. Sometimes it's surgery. I don't know. Today it's filler, okay? Cleanse your lips. Try not to let this get on your tongue if it does. Not the end of the world, but it just feels funky. 
you ever had filler before? Mm -hmm. You have beautiful lips. Thank you. And we can arrive the book and share that feel of love. Um, do you ever get that thing you were just telling me about? Um, I have only ever had lip filler one time and I have a really ridiculously high pain tolerance so I did not but a lot of our patients do. It's really just Those shots themselves hurt though, right? It's just two pokes. Um, it's not the most comfortable but I would say it's two pokes is more enjoyable than a, a lot of around. Yeah. <laughs> okay, y'all. So we are back home from getting our filler, and I'm super satisfied with the results. She did a really good job. She liked the Russian method this is gonna go down this is lidocaine however you say it the numbing shit um uh so they offered an option for free numbing shots to help with that so i've never had the numbing shots i've been getting filled for a few years now i think two years it's my third time getting it fourth time and I've never had anyone offer me the free lidocaine shots. They give me two shots right here, which is sore. Um, and it's I still feel the numbing shit in here a little bit. It's fading away though, but I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize. And obviously I have a little bit of bruising, but they look so fucking good. I have a little ice pack um, I put in the freezer. I feel how it's gonna bruise though, cause I was just drinking last night. Drinking helps it bruise. I'm gonna stay moisturized. They were having a special, I told y'all, $100 off. Um, she did this in literally like five minutes. <laughs> like she was the bomb, like she did the bottom first and then she went to the top and she did a full syringe, which I love. I hate when I pay for a full syringe and then they're like, honey, you don't need any more. You're good just right here. And it's like, girl, give me the whole thing because the swelling's gonna go down and they're not gonna be this big. So give me the whole fucking thing. Let me know how y'all feel about the filler. I know y'all gonna be like, girl, you didn't need filler. You already had lips. Little do y'all know, the part where you already had lips, that's filler too. Like I still had a little bit of my Juvederm in my lips, so. It's just a more of a refresher. I get the same amount every time, one syringe. I never go up, um, but yeah. I feel very weird. I'm about to clean, clean it off with some alcohol, the outside part. Sometimes I just get a little anxious slash manic and I just have to like randomly do things like Sometimes it's filler, sometimes it's surgery. Like I said earlier, sometimes it's a face tag, which I think I'm gonna get next. But every now and then I just have an itch to like do something with my appearance. I think all women do though. I think it's normal. I stopped and got freaking sushi train. So we're about to eat sushi train. I warmed up some dumplings and let's eat some lunch and relax and then Pretty much today, I was gonna like get cute and go out, but I think I'm just gonna chill because I'm working tomorrow and I'd much rather just, I'm such a fucking homebody y'all. Like I be trying to be outside, but I'm at peace when I'm at the crib chilling. That's why a lot of my content is about to be like, chill with me, cleaning motivation, self care, spend the night in with me. Like it's gonna be on those type of vibes. I will go out to eat, but sometimes I just wanna be in the fucking crib where I feel peace, okay? No strangers, no weird shit, I don't have to drive, there's not a lot of noise, like it's just my peaceful place. So, like I said, we were gonna go out and kick it today, but I think I'd much rather stay in 
and juice and cook and take care of the house we just got some packages um so yeah we just gonna chill we gotta go to work tomorrow y'all so let's go eat this food we got let me show y'all the roll soy sauce which i don't even eat on my sushi eel sauce my chopsticks they were supposed to give me a side of spicy mayo and they put it on top of the roll. I did not ask y'all to do that and I don't appreciate it, sushi train. But this is what the roll looks like. That's what our roll looks like. And then we're also gonna do Our dumplings are almost done, but the little soup dumplings, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. These right here, fucking fire. These right here, fire. The purple box, not so much. These, fire. If you have a Trader Joe's in your area, go get those. And then you'll want to top it off with some of this, which is like a habanero pepper sauce, chili pepper type of thing. It's super good. I put this on my fried eggs. Uh, it's kind of like a, a habanero take on like the chili oil, if you know what I'm talking about. It's like a habanero, like blended version. I don't know. It's fucking bomb. We put that on top of our dumplings they look weird are they hot are they ready i think i want to put them in there for like 30 more seconds just so they can burn my mouth a little bit you know what i mean i'm gonna get our sauce ready Now they're ready. Okay, so here's our dumplings. Let me just take a spoonful of this. That's con the consistency of it. And you just wanna like try to evenly distribute it throughout. It is hot as fuck, but y'all, I love my food hot. So if you don't like hot stuff, don't get it. I don't put soy sauce on them. But yeah, that's what they look like. Okay, and I'm going to eat one with you guys right now. And then I'm going to eat the rest of them on TikTok. But I will eat one with you right now. I'll try the sushi with you guys. I ain't gonna lie, the roll is small, but it's whatever. They could have gave me a bigger roll. So here's our roll. Okay. No. I'm satisfied. Okay. We're about to enjoy our lunch. And like I said, we're gonna do some more shit around the house. I got these, I got some eucalyptus and some flowers from Trader Joe's that I need to put together. And then I wanna straighten up a little bit. Organize my sponsorships, etc., etc. Okay, 
Everything feels so weird eating when you first get your lips done. But anyways, about to enjoy this lunch and y'all know the motherfucking vibes. guys be asking like what do i juice for you guys want juicing recipes and you want to know the benefits and stuff so today i'm going to actually go over the benefits of the juicing before i juice it just real quick and then i'm going to juice with you guys so today we have oranges honeydew melon mangoes sorry i live on a major street so we have um, honeydew melon mangoes this is a grapefruit which i'm actually i don't want to juice this because this is sour i'm trying to make a sweet juice today um we have some navel oranges some baby carrots and then we have a watermelon Ugh, that's huge just to let y'all know how big my head is and then i actually have two pineapples so i'm going to talk a bit about a little bit about some of these fruits i have them in my phone so as far as the honeydew melon, it's high in vitamin C. It's a great source of potassium. It's low sodium, um, which will help reduce blood pressure, um, improve your heart health. It's low in calories, sugar, and fat, and it's high in water content. Those benefits are the same for the watermelon as well. Water is super, super high in water content, and it's going to help with hydration. Um, anti-inflammatory, the pineapples are super anti-inflammatory um the oranges also help heart health and they're high in vitamin c um the mangoes regulate blood pressure improve your vision the carrots improve your vision as well lower cholesterol levels improve digestion so they're like high in fiber which will help you regular which means you're gonna be shitty booty no, i'm just playing but no seriously they they they're high in fiber and then they boost immunity and they're good for energy as well all these fruits have natural sugar in them so if you're low on energy you're going to naturally feel a little bit more energized anything with high water content is going to help with your hair and skin so it's going to give you that glowy natural moisturized type of effect um so right now i'm trying to fill up one two three four i'm i'm low on lids for my bottles i'm not sure where they're all going but i'm going to do these four first and then i'm going to top off Whatever, whatever I have from last week, the bottles that are getting low, I'm going to top them off with this because I don't want this fruit to go bad. So, yeah, let's get into it. Put your trust in me, baby.
know how because i just i watch random things on youtube like i watch um i watch content like mckenna walker and selena trevino and shit like that like at home resets or like chill vibe at home like grocery hauls and vacation vlogs and stuff like that and i watch basically girls who stay home and cook and clean and do self-care that's pretty much what i watch but every now and then i watch like guys diners drives and whatever it's called like the guy you know who i'm talking about y'all the guy who has the cooking show on food network i watch his uh stuff on youtube too and sometimes the algorithm like drifts away to like um cooking things in general so i've gotten hooked on watching these like asian like bakery factory videos where they're just making a bunch of random shit in this factory and it's so freaking tight like it may it's making me want to find a bakery in nashville and start buying like my croissants my bread my sourdough my bagels and stuff from like an actual bakery um back home where i grew up i actually lived like 
a few blocks from a bakery and the bakery's still there and every time i would drive home from school i would smell the bread and i'd be like oh my gosh the bread smells so fucking good you can smell it driving down the street but watching this watching them make this fresh stuff they're making pastries they're making cinnamon rolls they're making desserts they're making sourdough they're making bagels they're making like their asian spin on like all the shit we have here you know what i mean i don't know what none of this stuff is called obviously but um it's making me want to find a bakery in nashville so if you know of a bakery in nashville please let me know in the comments below because your girl's gonna get in the bakery bag like all this fresh shit that's just made with love you know what i mean like, there's nothing wrong with buying bread from the grocery store, obviously. But that when you bite into that fresh croissant, that fresh bagel, that fresh bread, you make a sandwich with some French bread that you cut yourself, it makes the world a difference. Sometimes I buy, well, not sometimes, a lot of times I buy bread from the bakeries inside the grocery stores. But I feel like the family-owned, like, small, like, actual small family-owned business bakeries are better than, like, the Walmart deli bakeries and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Do y'all ever go to bakeries in your city or in your town? Or do you just get all your bread and stuff from like wherever you do your main grocery shopping? Or are you extra and you make that stop? Or sometimes like going to like the donut shops and getting like fresh kolaches and like donuts and stuff. Like that's a fucking vibe. And I miss that. It gives the food like a little, like you can tell it was made with love a little bit more. You know what I mean? And whatever this is, let me show y'all another view. This just looks so good. Look at all this stuff they've made. They're actually setting it up right now. So they're not making it right now. But like earlier they were showing them actually making it. And I was like, wow, what the fuck? This is the actual bakery where you buy it. But earlier I was seeing the actual factory part. Where the people in the back were actually baking it and making it. And it was just, I'm hooked on this right there. There's the factory. And they're making this shit. Anyways, I am hooked on that right now. But it is the next day. Today is Friday. It is 12 p.m. It is March 3rd. I'm about to get up and do my hair. We have makeup at 3 I have a meeting at 1.30, which cross our fingers. Hopefully, before makeup, I, I have really, 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 really great news for you guys. And I'm pretty sure I do. This is my second meeting with him. The first one was the initial, like, interview. Um, the second one, humbly, it's, this, this is mine because I want it and it's mine and it's written for me. And what's already for me, nobody can take away from me. So I'm just going to speak that. And speak that with confidence that this next meeting is not another interview. It's confirmation of the position. Okay? So you guys say, you got it. With the purple heart in the comments. Say, you got it. And hopefully by the end of this video, I do got it. Well, not hopefully. I do got it. Anyways. So I have the meeting at 1.30. So I'm about to get up and do my hair. And I'm probably going to eat this peanut butter and jelly. Or I may eat some fruit. I don't know. I want to eat something like light for brunch. It's only 12. Meeting at 1.30. Makeup at 3. And then we're going to the motherfucking Chap Pals. Chap Pals. I ain't seen my girls in over a week. So I'm excited to get to work. And make a bag. Y'all already know it's Friday night. So y'all know the bitches are going to be there. So you already know we got live from the locker room. Coming to y'all. Money counts, locker room vibes, all that. We're going to get into it. It's the weekend. It's time to turn up, bitch. Anyways, I will talk to y'all after my meeting. You guys, so I have good news and I have bad news. Okay, the good news is the meeting that I just had, it went exactly how I needed to. I can't say too much. But your girl is going to be on motherfucking TV, y'all. Like, your girl is going to be on fucking TV. And I'm so excited. I don't really want to say what's going on yet because I want to keep it a surprise. There are a few people that know, just like my immediate family. And then, I think I told two people outside of my immediate family. And that's it. But your girl is going to be on motherfucking TV. I'm going to be on your motherfucking TV screen, okay? Per. 
But um, that's something that I've known was a possibility for a few months when I heard the opportunity and it was pretty much confirmation. Um, so, <sighs> round of applause because your girl is doing big things. The bad news though is that there was a thunderstorms earlier today in Nashville and a few trees got knocked down. There's been power outages left and right in Nashville. So the my makeup artist, her entire street, um, the electricity is out on her entire street. So I can't get my makeup done before I work today. So I'm just really gonna do like hella freckles. Like I'm gonna go OD on the freckles and I'm gonna do lashes. And then I'm gonna do some um, lip liner and lip gloss because you know, we got the fresh lips. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. But we gonna do a fresh face look tonight with the ponytail. Nothing crazy. I might do some glasses, but since I'm not wearing makeup, I thought about doing glasses, but I don't know. We'll see. I might just do the lashes with the fresh face freckles, to be honest. But yeah, I'm so excited. Your girl is gonna be on TV, like, making moves okay i'm just super excited i'm so fucking excited i have been anxious about it sorry i'm i have nair on my coochie right now because i'm doing nair before i go to work but yeah i'm super excited so i already had lunch i'm just gonna drink some water and straighten up a little bit and i'll probably see y'all at the locker room i was gonna take y'all with me to get my makeup done but since i can't get my makeup done i'll just see y'all in the locker room we still gonna make a bag with no makeup. I might fill in my brows a little bit and do some lashes and that's it. But anyways, yeah. Let's go make some motherfucking money. Oh, and if you have something in your hair right now, cheers. I'm about to take a shot because cheers. A bitch is gonna be on TV. Hey, Jernigan. fucking Luli. Hi. What's your name, bae? Candy. Candy bitch. It's candy bitch. And y'all already know this bitch. Y'all love this bitch too. They love both of y'all. So we are about to take a shot. Shot o'clock, bitches. And y'all already know what that is. What that means. What that is. Y'all already know what that means. So y'all loved Savannah's toast and she's got another one for y'all. I told her what y'all said about putting it on a shirt. I told her. Wait, can you hold me over this? We're gonna have a toast in a shot. I haven't done that one yet with her. Okay, what's our toast? Show time. To love and honor. If you can't come in her, come on her. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Mm. Oh, my booty is sore. It feels so good. It feels good? She's shooting out a water bottle. I'm shooting out an actual shot. Yeah, guys. you know me. OG water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh. But it's a Showtime special, so we've got to fucking go. We'll see y'all. High heels in motion, hoes. <laughs> High heels in motion, hoes. people and i am back almost did an intro bitch this ain't an intro so today is sunday it is march 5th it is 2 12 p.m so 
my hair is looking a little crazy because I'm not doing it because tomorrow I'm supposed to film another wig video. So that's why I'm not touching this hair up. I'm over it, okay? It's cute. I'm gonna keep it, but I'm just not gonna do it right now. So anyways, it's Sunday. We have big Sunday vibes. I had some brunch earlier at home. Um, I got a few dishes to do. I got laundry going. As you guys can see, we are editing a hair video for this vlog. So if you like it, make sure you go check it out. Um, but anyways, we just editing and chilling basically. It's kind of like my relax day. I tend to put a lot of pressure on myself on my off days to like get a whole bunch of shit done. But sometimes resting is the most productive thing you can do hear me out okay don't feel lazy don't beat yourself up i saw this one tiktok that said that um people who live a life that are in fight or flight for like years at a time at some point in their life they might get tired to where they feel like they need to sleep for like months and social media makes you feel like you're depressed you're not depressed you're tired okay it's okay to not do anything sometimes so today is sunday like I said, I'm cleaning up and I'm doing like some light editing. I'm not just really focused and I'm just kind of relaxing doing it. Whenever I finish it is when I finish it. I'm not putting pressure on myself. I've been lounging around all day. Um, I did wake up and pay some bills, but I've been chilling for the most part because I'm just kind of exhausted. Um, not in a bad way. I don't want y'all to worry. I'm, there's nothing wrong, but you know how sometimes you're like, okay, I've been giving it my all up here recently. Like I kind of need to just chill, like just for a day or two, just not do shit. Um, that's pretty much the type of day I'm having today. Um, we got some Italian sausage in the oven. Um, we're going to meal prep some brats and peppers. Um, I'm not too much filming that because it's not anything special. I just throw them in the oven. I have some peppers that I've already diced up that I'm going to throw in the oven when they're almost done. It's like my vegetables still a little crunchy. Okay. But yeah, we just big chilling today. Now, as far as work, Friday night let me fucking tell y'all okay so friday night first of all it was storming okay and i told y'all i couldn't get my makeup done so i almost didn't go to work like real shit i almost did not go because i kind of got used i've kind of gotten used to when i work with my makeup so but i know that like I'm a pretty girl without makeup, but I've gotten used to like the energy that the that the beat face gives at work, right? So I was like, hmm, should I go? Should I not go? But I had got some really great news Friday during the day. So I was like, you know what? Let's go to work. Like everything's happening in our favor. So why would we not go today? Like today's the go. You know, today's the day to go. So I go to work and I'm moving around and I'm getting dances a little bit. Like I sold one room um but when i asked for a tip like he didn't give me he didn't give me what i deserved i felt like if you're following me um so i was kind of like mm, that was a good start to my night but it really wasn't what i wanted y'all know i'd be looking for a lick not a trick okay anybody can trick their money i'll be looking for a lick not a trick so i was like hmm it's a good start to the night but i ain't done you know like i'm trying to hit a lick you know so I'm moving around and I'm getting told no. I'm getting some yeses, like I'm selling dances, but then when I try and get them in a room, they're not fucking with it. So I'm kind of like, mm, I don't know if it's the makeup, not having makeup on or what's going on. But I felt really pretty. Like I was, I felt, I was feeling my fresh skin. I was moisturized. I was getting glazed donut. You know, I was looking like I still deserved a bag, but I was wondering, I was starting to wonder, like, is it the makeup? Like what? Why y'all not trying to take me upstairs? And when I asked for a certain amount of money, why y'all not trying to give it to me? That's really how I started feeling. And so I seen this dude sitting up at the front and I told y'all like, if y'all be getting on my lives, I be dropping the gems. Like you have to listen to like when you feel guided to a certain like situation. So something just told me to hurry up and go talk to him. Like I had no reason to think that. He hadn't spent a bag on nobody else. Like I had no, re he actually looked a hot mess. I had no reason to think this. But I went up to him, y'all, and I know I said that it's in the last block, but I mean it now this time. That man paid me the most I have made ever dancing. Like, I know I said it in the last vlog, but he topped that. Like, he damn near doubled that. What I made in the last vlog, like, he doubled that. And I still have not said how much because I don't want to. If you want to pause that scene where I was at the bank and I had recorded myself taking the money at the bank, not in the beginning, but like the last one, like after I went to work, if you want to pause that and count that you can, that was not all of it. What you're counting was not all of it. So it's kind of like, 
that man paid the fuck out me and it's like i really appreciated it because i didn't have my makeup on i had a great morning but when i didn't get my makeup done it kind of made me shy away from the thought of going to work because i just didn't want to i don't know i just and then it was storming in nashville so i was thinking like are people even going to come out tonight like there's power outages all over Nashville. Like, I didn't even know if people were going to come out to the club anyway. And so, like I said, it was rent week and everything. So, I kind of just was, I don't know, but I went. And I'm so fucking glad I went. So, Saturday night, I stayed in and I filmed this hair video. Instead of going to work, I just stayed in and filmed this hair video. And I just feel so blessed when I have good enough nights to wear, like, I can put my energy into, like, other things that I'm pursu pursuing long term. Like, when I can stay home from work and focus on content or focus on emails and building relationships with brands or focus on my uh, real estate business like when I can just stay home and like focus and plan for other things that are going to be more long term it really feels like all this shit really is going to be worth it in the end <laughs> like I hate to say it like that it sounds bad but that's really how it feels like okay we had a fucking fire ass night like I'm not going to say how much it was because I'm damn near scared to just know like we we had like that's how much money I make in two weeks damn near like I I was really like it was crazy as <laughs> what's crazy is like I ain't gonna lie he was a little weirdo you know what I'm saying? He be he be he be smoking stuff that I would never smoke. He be doing his own little thing, but he has money. So it was like I feel like I was guided to him because the universe knows that I need to still have great nights and be appreciated and still focus on other things. So I'm just super fucking thankful. Like I know I tell myself things are working out in my favor all the time, but like they like they actually are like when you say shit sometimes it still blows my mind how like you can really like say stuff and, and that's what happens like i i don't know ignore me right now i'm just having an aha moment but i'm editing now i'm gonna finish editing this video so hopefully we can get this turned in tonight so that the um the sponsor can approve or deny it if they want some changes made to it and then i can get it uploaded and then i can start working on this vlog that y'all are watching right now i hope it's long but anyways that's it for this week's vlog um next week's vlog is going to be pretty interesting too yeah i'm not gonna say nothing but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed hanging out with me for the week if you did give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments um and other than that um feel free to also let me know other content you guys want to want to see i enjoy this the most like this is really really me like the turned up bitch at the club that's cool but this is really me a bitch really be at home chilling and i'm so glad y'all are receiving this content as well i know i keep saying it but i mean it like I'm glad y'all enjoy me doing like the basic things in life and I'm glad y'all find it relatable because I feel like I don't know I feel like dancers have this like rap to be like turned up wild ass hey! and it's like I really just be rotating clothes and washing dishes and cooking food for real for real and taking showers and fucking moisturizing my skin that's really tea I go there sometimes to make a bag and that's that's pretty much it but I, I'm, a, I'm a whole person outside of divine and i feel like y'all are getting a good mix between morgan and divine you feel me because for a long time i felt like y'all only fucked with divine like y'all only want to see me at the club in the locker room if it wasn't a club y'all wasn't messing with it but now i feel like y'all are receiving morgan and that feels good it feels good because stripping is just like a small part of my life it's opened up a lot of doors but I don't want someone to like me based off of like my alter ego and like the work me, you know, which is still me, but it's like, I don't know. You get what I'm trying to say. Let me know if I make it sense or it sound like I'm just fucking talking. But anyways, thanks again for tuning in. It is 2.22. Anyways, I'll see y'all in the next video.